Good afternoon, how are you? Uh, we're here down in Shoreditch, we are, aren't we? I'm here with my friend Tony yeah. McCarthy. Hey guys! And uh, he's a good friend of mine, we met on a training course. Uh, how long ago was that? Three years? About three, four years ago, yeah. Time flies when you're having fun and um, happened to be we was in a room of lots of different uh, businesses actually and we ended up sitting next to each other, started a conversation, found out we're both personal trainers. We were probably the only two personal trainers in there, weren't we? There was about 50, 60 people in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was weird, so it was meant to be sitting next to each other. Anyway, so, why are we here today? Why are we here? Because I'm talking about, um, my, introducing my friend Tony McCarthy, talking about overcoming fears, we'll get to that in a moment, and then we're also talking about the Legends Tours. Now what the hell is a Legends Tour? Well, Tony is going to talk a little bit about his background first and then we'll go on to explain what the Legends Tour is. And uh, something that I think that you, you could really love. I've seen uh, footage and I've been speaking to Tony about it. It's awesome. So you, you should really check it out. But we'll give you the link through uh, in a moment and uh, as we give you some more details about it. So Tony, tell us a little bit about your background, mate. Um, absolutely. I've been uh, an avid sports person all my life and just you know dedicated to fitness um, and studied it all my life at university and everything like that. Um, and got into personal training. So I honed my skills as, as you did in transforming the body and putting on muscle and inspiring and motivating others. And it got to a stage where I was, you know, doing um, loads of work and working hard in the gym and had loads of clients, um, but that got really, really tiring for me and I wasn't really experiencing much of life. And as a PT, I know you can understand that. So I wasn't really traveling and I was stuck to my business and I, really wanted to do something more with myself and I, I thought how can I use my skill sets of power and motivation and inspiration and training and bundle all this up with some challenge and travel and adventure. Because Tony is one of the most motivational and inspirational people I know, he's, uh, he's a bundle of energy and uh, if you see him on any of his videos and uh, stuff that he's done online you'll, you'll catch that straight away and if you just have a conversation with him you feel it. So what was your expertise over the years? What did you specialise in? Yeah, absolutely. Um, body transformations is what I was specialising in. Um, so, you know, working with um, men between the ages of sort of 30 and 45 in the city who are out there smashing targets every day, working hard and want to be the best that they can be. Right? Well, medals though, right? From and yeah. What have you done? Yeah. I mean, I was I was a champion boxer. Uh, I was I ran for the county. I was I was one of the uh, Miami Pro models a little while ago. So flaunting my uh, my Aussie bums on stage. So <laughs> <laughs> that was lovely. And um and uh, but I've always I've always done I've always wanted to push myself personally. I've always wanted to try and take myself beyond my limits and find out exactly how tough I am. Mentally and physically, yeah. and this is where we are now. So, yeah, what Tony's done is created something very special. So, Tony, give us a little insight into what it is that you've created now. What's, what's going on for you? Right. So, I want you to imagine Bear grill survival skills stuck with the Iron Man, the toughness of Iron Man, and I want you to combine all that together with that camaraderie and team spirit of the tough mother and the tough guys out there. Okay. So, this is what we create: a 48-hour challenge where we take you out to Morocco at the moment and you push yourself beyond your limits in a team of people that maybe you've never met before and you generally overcome some proper hard stuff, some real challenges that you've never really thought were possible and you take yourself up to your comfort zone, past it, and then I'll boot you so far <laughs> over that line of comfort that you just start spinning and then you finish it off you know, just feeling amazing about yourself and, and really being a lot more aware of your own potential and your own ability. Amazing. I've seen some of the footage as well and, and we'll, we'll put the links on at, uh, in the comments below so you can check those out and you'll see some of the people that have been on the retreats with Tony and how happy they look and exhilarating the experiences because they're in the mountains in Peru. No, no, Morocco. Morocco. Yeah, Morocco. Atlas Mountains. So Atlas, Atlas Mountains. Mountains in Morocco. So the, the scenery is stunning and you yeah. want to check those out. We'll post them below anyway. So what makes the uh, this your retreats, the Legends Tours, unique? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so the unique thing that we um, do is um, a lot of retreats are sort of these places where you go and talk about your feelings um, and then, you know, the experiences, you know, what you come out of it. Um, or a lot of challenges out there are just sort of like these one-day events um, that 
you know, just it's just about you winning, um, or the obstacle racing um, challenges out there. It's just about you know being you know in teams, and they're not they're not that difficult really. So what we do is we really take each of those things up another level. So the the journey that you go on is is real, and so the overcoming of fears, they're all fears that you have to overcome in the moment, and so you get this real genuine experience that you can always draw back on. You can always remember that and go, oh, bloody hell, that is how good I am. That is how powerful I am. That is how hard I push myself. And you can always draw on that to change your state. Uh, we don't just talk to you about overcoming fears. We make you do it. And you don't generally do that as well. So that's that's one of the unique things. And then obviously we take you to Morocco, right? So I don't know anybody else in London that's taken you out for a 48-hour challenge in Morocco, in the Atlas Mountains. I don't know anyone that's put in any trip together where everything is paid for and where you go and experience adventure and nature all in one hit in the way that we do. I don't know anyone that's teaching you how to reconnect with where your food comes from, how to make fire, how to build shelters. I don't know anyone who's doing it. So <laughs> what's unique about that? Well, you've got to come out and see, right? <laughs> so I mean, it's motivational, I'm telling you. So it's great. So it really fire you up. If you've ever thought about doing something like this, going on a retreat and you're umming and ahhing and you're thinking, Ah, we'll have a good time. I'm not sure about the person. Well, check Tony out. You have enough social media out there that you can spend some time with him before you meet him, even, uh, and reach out and have a chat with him. He's not one of the nicest guys you'll ever meet. Um, so I just want to get a little bit more deeper into how you ended up um, with this process and why you decided Morocco and how you chose some of the events that go on there. You know, give us a little bit of insight about that. Absolutely. So it all started really with me trying to push myself beyond my own limits and find a team of people that could go there with me. And it was like this mad bike ride that I put myself on going from London to Cornwall, right? And, and on that journey, I, I nearly broke down. I was crying. It was so painful. My body just wanted to stop. And on that, on that trip, my, my buddy Mike Glutman, who's an absolute legend, was like, yeah, mate, you're a legend. Get free, get free. And all the boys, after me smashing this out, having never really been on a bike before, were like, yeah, this guy's definitely a legend. Which is really fitting because that was what come out of our sort of little stint together was about yeah. creating these dangerously fit legends. And so that put me on this course of finding out how can I put these really amazing adventure, travel, challenges together in a way that busy professionals can do it so it doesn't impact their work life too much in a really cool, interesting way that's really inspiring for them so that's how we ended up in Morocco and then you know obviously uh, in, in, a, in a way which just means that you don't have to think about anything you just go and do it so that's what got us to Morocco we did Iceland we've done France and we've tried out different places and for us genuinely Morocco provides the best unparalleled value for money that we can find out there for the amount of scenery and adventure and everything that you get it's just like mind-blowing being out in the mountains to be having a team of people cook you food on a riverbed when you come off a mountain to have a team of 20 quad bikes waiting for you when you're driving out into the desert Wicked. to be walking across mountain ledges by tour guides it's insane like what we can do so yep. That's, that's how we ended up in, in uh, uh, Morocco, and um, it, it's just a mind-blowing experience. Amazing, so what, uh, what, if you watch some of my videos, I always go into like, the mindset around it, and um, how you end up in this space of uh, delivering this, delivering uh, this service, this process, uh, the, to take people through this process to help them transform their bodies and, like you said, their minds at the same time. So what is uh, your proudest moment in creating what you've created up to this point? Oh, goodness me, there's so many to choose from. Um, for me, definitely, it's, it's um, being able to take like a team of 10 sort of normal, you know, average people, that are working their nuts off in the city, of building businesses, and take them completely out of what they're used to, and give them a challenge that they're never prepared for, and, and, th and then actually see them overcome this journey, overcome all of the obstacles that they're facing themselves. And, and the great learning thing for me, the proudest moment, is understanding that actually it, it's not uh, it's not about me anymore. I thought it was always about me, you know, it was all about my journey, and it's not. It's about the guys that come out there. So then when they come off of this mountain and they've overcome, you know, all of these like hard labors of their body falling apart and they can't push themselves any further and, and really they're like, oh, Tone, that was amazing, I can't believe it. Um, I can remember one, one, one moment that I recall. You know in NLP, 
and you're like, you want to change your state and you want to like get yourself ready. So when I want to be like, on, like, on PowerPoint and I'm going into like a meeting and I'm a bit worried about, you know, maybe these uh, multi-millionaires are a little bit above my level. So what I do is I, I, I recall this moment when I was um, at, at the dinner at this like Mayfair restaurant that we'd, you know, organised for all the guys after the trip and they're all just like going, oh, Tone, that was the most amazing thing. Like, you're following your dreams. This is the most incredible thing I've ever been on. Thank you so much. So when I recall that moment and the smiles on their faces and how they're all like bonding, that that gets me into my like, like power, power beast mode state. Amazing, that's what Tony does really well. I just noticed someone watching us. Have a look at this. Can you see them up there? <laughs> They've been staring at us the whole time. It's really weird. <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh, what, what excites you most about this whole uh, journey about the future of this business? Oh, what excites me? I mean, it's, uh, I get... For me, I get to travel the world, having adventure, having fun, building relationships with cool people, training people to do amazing things. It's what, it's what I love, right? The cool thing for everybody else is there's a great business in there for any PTs out there that want to add a little extra revenue stream, want to inspire their own clients to do something amazing. Think about it, right? You get to go on this trip anywhere around the world, doing an adventure, do physical challenge, and guess what? You can even like help your clients get ready for it. So there's like a, you know, like a three month program that maybe you could like use to help them get fit for it, and, and you could go experience that and bond with them even more and have these amazing experiences with your business and be part of it even more. And then for anybody that, you know, is obviously coming on as a, as a participant, then think about this, you know, being, being exposed to things that you've never even thought about before, like, you know, where does your food come from? Like, how do you actually, like, connect with, you know, like, your meat, yeah? Think about it, we're all banging on about veganism and vegetarianism, right, because it's really cruel to kill animals. Yeah, of course it is, especially when you buy all your meat in packets from, you know, the local supermarket. But the real world is something that has to happen for that animal to go from alive and trotting around and eating to being on your plate. And that's what we expose you to. How about the fact that maybe, like, if, you know, like, there were, you know, God forbid, anything really devastating happened, right? And, like, you know, we, we were left for our own skills. What would happen then? Would you be able to, like, make fire? Would you be able to look after yourself? Would you be able to find shelter for your family? I know, as a London boy, I wouldn't be able to do any of that. So that's what's, you know, that's what's exciting for you guys. Yeah, so think about that. You know, you might have a certain number of skills that you don't use every single day, but having those skills in the locker, so to speak, in your pocket, are gonna be useful for you. And they give you an experience that you wouldn't have in everyday life. So you wanna think about taking yourself out of the zone. Think about, uh, let's talk, talk about keeping your mind young. And one way to do that is to do something new every day. And this is something really new. This would make you feel alive more than uh, you know, brushing your teeth every morning, for instance, or traveling the same direction to work. You know, I'll give you an experience. When I sometimes, on my way to the gym, the, the roads close, I think, oh, what? So I've got the ump, and, you know, and it forces me to go another way, and I find a whole new way around, and I think, wow, that's so much better. And after, my brain had to work a little bit more, and I thought, that's even better, that my, I'm, I feel more awake now than I did you know, my usual journey to work. Anyway, so think about something new in your life, something that sparks life, opens up your mind, opens up your body, opens up your, your brain to new experiences, and that's how we keep ourselves young. Um, so what's uh, your target market? Uh, so what, who's this really aimed at and what's uh, so a little bit of advice you could give them straight off the bat? Absolutely. So this is specifically designed for busy professionals that um, feel like they're uninspired by their current training plan, that feel like they're not getting enough adventure in their life or that really feel like they're not experiencing life to its fullest. So anybody in that sort of zone um, that wants to use their body to take themselves beyond their limits then this is going to be ideal for you especially people that love physical challenge or love getting out in nature or or really want to do more of that because they don't do enough of it as it is um, so what's the main thing that people say they got from it like the last few course few tours you've done what what have they said yeah I mean you know there's there's guys that come on this that potentially have never liked um, done anything physical before so their transformation is wow like I've done this I realized how powerful and how much potential I really have and then they get straight into like doing their own challenges and start getting fit and looking after themselves um, that's that's been a big one um, amazing so it's, yeah. it's basically 
jacked their level from, say, you know, if we, if we go on a level of one to ten, they've taken them from a one up to a seven oh. over the course of, what, two days? Oh, it goes through the roof. I mean, they're hitting, like, twelves and fifteens, man. Like, there honestly, they come off it. We had one guy, oh. Um, Tell us. Yeah, so Alex, he come on the Legends Challenge. Like, he was like a guy that worked in the city. He was like one of those computer guys tapping away on the keyboard all day long. Ate pizzas like 15 times a week. You know, the guy was just unhealthy. And he come out, and it was actually a bit of a challenge to get him on this, right? Because he didn't really have that internal drive and motivation. But we sort of like coerced him a little bit into like, you know, seeing the potential of what could happen if he did it. And, you know, we got him around to it, which was hard enough as it is. But then he got involved in it. And he went out and he realised how like fun it was to like ride a bike and to like go really really fast downhill which is you know what I'm all about I'm going fast right <laughs> so he went and then bought himself like this £2,000 bike as soon as he got back from um, the, the trip and he was like right guys I'm going for a seven week um, challenge across the west coast of America can you imagine that like a guy that was you know eating no peace and I think after that probably like something like he dumped his girlfriend you know like upgraded her as well so <laughs> oh. So he upgraded all parts of his life. So Every, everything. Something to think about: how to how to hack hack your current life and project yourself into a higher level of yourself, higher uh, version of yourself. So just to finish off, what's the website? How do we look at? Uh, let's wait for this truck to go past. We are in the centre, or close to. We're actually. In, <laughs> it's just not right next to. We're us. actually in the east of London. So. Uh, it's a bit noisy, as you can imagine. Um, hopefully you can hear us well enough. So what I was saying was, how do we look at the website? What's the website address? How do people get in contact with you? Absolutely. There's this amazing thing called the um, internet out there. So you can type in www.legendstours.net. It's um, legends with an S and tours with an S. Obviously that's uh, back to front, sorry about that. Um, Your brains can handle it. Hope, yeah, that's the challenge for today, right? <laughs> Twist that um, mind melt or background and stuff. Um, go on there, listen, um, you know, we're, we, I, we try and get back to everyone as quick as we can. Just send us an email, go onto the booking page and have a look at what we're up to. There's a video on there and you can see one of the trips that we did in Morocco. Um, actually this year, uh, no, last year we filmed it the one last year and so this is like the upgraded version we've got quad bikes and even more survival skills so like it's even more amazing than the video hello. chat oh there's a nice person walking past it you can say hello we're live Hi. we're facebook live hey <laughs> all right so that's how we that's how you can be in touch with tony so any questions pop them in the comment box below i'll pop tony's name in the box below so you can click through straight to him as well and uh he's giving you the website there so Remember guys, always remember that health is a skill that you can learn and this is a better way to bring out your personal best quicker. Now let's go get healthy, let's take the world with us. Have an amazing day and I will see you all soon. See ya.